He's done went nuts again, people. Gotta do what you gotta do. We, if you didn't see, we did a whole bunch of videos where Donnie swapped out a crate engine crate. into the truck, the 83 Chevy. So I also have an 86 Chevy that we've been fighting for years. And the thing's working, but the engine ain't right. So he ordered me this crate engine here. He's trying to tell me that this one will run just fine. I don't think this is really a crate engine. It's in a crate, ain't it? That's the old one, Donnie. I can tell. But that's in a crate. I can tell that's not the new one. That's but the old one. It's in a crate. I'm, I don't want that one. I want a new one in a crate. That is a new one in a crate. That's, no, that's mine. I own that one, actually, it still. It ain't the one that come in the crate, so it's a new one in the crate. Oh, God. So, he's going to start messing with our 86 here. I keep saying our because Donnie does most of the work. So. It's an 86 GMC. We've been doing all kinds of work on it. If you haven't seen all the videos we did on it and read the whole history of it, basically I had a guy work on the engine. He didn't know what he was doing. We had the whole engine rebuilt, and then the guy started it up with no oil in it. No oil pump. No oil pump in it. So it shredded the cam, and uh, we ended up finding little metal shavings all in it. We put another cam in it, but <laughs> it's time to redo it. I think <laughs> I think we're just going to throw in the towel on it. It's got also has electrical wiring problems and what was the other thing? Oh, the brakes are messed up. So and power steering pump's got a hole in it. And the power steering pump's got a hole in it because when he tightened up the power steering hose. It moved around and cracked the the, the um, power steering housing. Power steering housing. I'll show you that whenever Donnie gets it off the truck. We'll show you what it ends up looking like. <sighs> so here's what we did. On the last one, I ordered a brand new crate motor, and it worked out great. I'm out driving the heck out of the truck right now as we speak. As we speak. As we speak. All right, it's 9:30. It's about. Uh, Feels like it's about 42, 43 degrees, something like that. Let's check out our choke. Been sitting here about seven hours. Haven't touched the gas. She's running pretty good. Now, if I can give it a little bit of gas. Perfect. It's perfect. I'm going to drop it in the gear. Let's see what she does when I drop it in the gear. <laughs> drop it down in the reverse. Um, so they make an actually a, a slightly less expensive version of the same crate motor that has no intake on it. And the intake caused Donnie a bunch of trouble last time. Bunch of trouble. Because uh, it had a bunch of block offs and stuff that we don't need on it. So we've bought the same crate motor just without the intake. And we're waiting on it to get here. We're going to put it in this truck. But this one don't have headers, guys. This one doesn't have headers. It has... A, that was the whole thing. Whenever I had the guy work on the engine, we got, you know, the factory exhaust manifolds and all that on it. Dual exhaust and all that. He, he screwed that up too a little bit, but. Yo, they want, they want overboard. Look at this. Brand new fan trail. Why would you put a new fan trail on? Yeah, that old one was cracked. Because it had a crack. All new hoses, all new brake lines, new power steering. The actual box down there, steering box. Uh, all new fan belts, uh, new carburetor, new distributor, new... So I thought I was going to end up getting a really nice truck out of it, except the engine doesn't work right. So whenever, uh, you know, <laughs> whenever that's going on, 
It doesn't matter how new the hoses are on it. Don't matter. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take this hood off so that Donnie can get down to the old engine. I'm gonna try to get him. Now, Donnie, you're gonna save this old engine, aren't you? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put this new crate motor in there. That's not a new crate motor, Donnie. It's new to me. <laughs> it's a new crate motor I'm gonna put in this truck. And then I'm gonna put that motor on that crate motor and sell it to you again. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for it the first time, Donnie, much less the second time. What about the third? <sighs> okay, folks, we're okay, going- Can I sell it to somebody else? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. We're going, don't sell it to them as a new crate motor, Donnie. It's on a new crate. They're gonna know that that's not a new crate motor. It's on a new crate, ain't it? It's only been used once. Okay, so we're gonna take the hood off um, so we can get down to the goodies. Here we go. Okay, we got the hood off. Got the hood off. So this is a 400 small block that we put in here just because it's been in here a long time. This was the engine that was actually in the truck, but somebody had swapped it in at some point. Me. Donnie. I put it in there about 10 years ago. Donnie did. So we're trying to save the engine, which is why I had it sent off to be rebuilt. And then uh, it got ruined because we started, we didn't, the guy started it up with no, uh, no oil pump in it. That goes there. There's a bunch of wiring problems and stuff, but since we just worked on the 83, this one's wired the same, everything's the same. I mean, even down to the vacuum lines and stuff are the same. The, so trick, the trick is we're not gonna do this one the exact same. That other one had knock sensors on it, had uh, a computer programming on it, all that were taken out. Well, yeah. it's already been taken out. Yeah. We're, just, uh, we're not gonna put it back. So this one should be a little easier because the uh, the headers ain't there. Yeah, so we got a factory exhaust. We've got a new carburetor, although it's a year old. Yeah, but it ain't had 10 gallons of gas run through it. Yeah, we've got a new distributor. We did a video where we bought a new distributor for it. Um, new hoses, new, uh, I don't know if the alternator's new, but maybe. Yeah, it it's so basically, New water pump. Mm hmm I was just looking at the intake. It's orange. New intake. We painted the intake orange. Yeah, we put the intake on there. Remember, mm -hmm. it had that aluminum. I think I did a video of when I was painting the intake. Yeah, I did a video of putting the intake on. Mm hmm Okay, so new intake. I mean, it's got, basically, we're just buying the rest of the engine, the main part of the engine. Yeah, all that stuff is new. And then it'll all be new, so. But there's little stuff on this one, like, they never put a PVC valve in it. Yeah. So there's an open hole over here and just little PC, stupid stuff. PCV. Yeah, what did I say? PVC. Oh. PCV. Wait, there's one over here. Yeah, but there's a whole open hole into the engine over here. Yeah, that probably ain't good. Hey, that's why our brakes aren't working. <laughs> the, uh, we're thinking that we might have, it's got a new brake master, uh, brake booster on it too. Mm-hmm. The, uh, this is this has been going on for two and a half years now. They cut the brake booster line behind the carburetor and put a rubber hose on it. That probably wasn't that smart. Mm -hmm. So there's there's going to be a few more little issues that we're going to have to chase down. But for the most part, it's uh, since we got the other one running, we figured now's the time while we're it's fresh in our mind how the other one's supposed to look. Um, since it worked out. New radiator. New fan shroud, new uh, heater hoses, new batteries, new uh, puke jug, new windshield washer fluid tank, new uh, blower motor, new. It's got everything on it new. Oh, new heater box. Um, Inside. New. Uh, the, whatever it's called. New upper and lower A frame bushings, new ball joints, new. Uh, Brake lines. Brake lines, new calipers, new rotors, new cal uh, brake pads, new. But no oil pump. But no oil pump. Connecting rod. Uh, what else? Uh, this is the liftgate truck, so this is the truck that Ronnie uses to move things with. Mm -hmm. But he hadn't been able to use it for two and a half years. It's such a cool truck. I want to get this one running too. And then I can drive both of them. Both of them. And if I get them both working, then I can drive one while I get the other one painted. Or washed. 
Or washed, yep. I'm not washing a truck that the engine don't run in, Donnie. Okay. It's good, Brady. This guy back here is working his butt off. He's moving dirt in our building here. That's for an upcoming video. Yeah. He's working hard. We're hardly working. The, uh... But we'll get this one done. It'll... We probably ain't gonna wham bam thank you ma'am like we did the last one, but we're gonna get it. All right. So, it's getting there. We've, we've done the most important part, Donnie. We took the hood off. We took the hood off. That's the hardest Whew. part. Boy, I'm gonna have to go get a drink. It's hard. I got your new crate motor. Donnie, that's not a crate motor. It's in a crate, ain't it? Boy, GM's really doing us wrong. Now, look look what they're doing. That thing, I'm not convinced this is a new motor. They act like this is turnkey. It's got the aluminum intake. Is that intake even bolted on there? That don't look right. Well, it'll move a little bit. Oh, God, it's on. I want my money back. No, nah, hell no, you don't get your money back. Crazy. Well, you got it mounted up in there pretty good, Donnie. Yep, it's, I didn't do it, GM did it. The rocker arms are not adjusted like they said. <laughs> They're close. I don't know, man. Looks good to me. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna chance it. Why not? I think this one looks a little worn out. This is not a new engine. We've done worse. Yep. 